Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. What is the plan for today? Well, the plan for today is to do this. Because I haven't done this, and we've got six hours. So we will be streaming till it's done. Hopefully it's soon, because um, my sources, as the new guys, told me that uh, it should hopefully take a couple hours. So hopefully it'll be done before the end of the stream, and if we have time, we'll do this, and maybe like random... There was a one random Sumeru quest that I just have now. We might do that. Um, and then we're supposed to be like continuing this. Like I had to change the stream title because it said investigating the mysterious hole or something, because that's what we were doing for the quest. Um, we didn't finish it. You know, it's fine. It's fine. We will make do. Um, and also, okay, I got this. But yes, there is a new set of wishes, and this is not what I meant to click. Wishes. <laughs> so I obviously have Nahida, but I don't have Hu Tao, so I thought it'd be quite nice to get Hu Tao. Because we like Hu Tao, she's pretty chaotic. Again, have never once cared for whether or not a character is useful. Actually, that's a lie. I did get Kazuha because I thought he'd be useful. But um, we're going to get her for the energy and uh, for nothing else. We're going to try and get Hu Tao. I don't know how many wishes we're going to set on her. And I have 15 of these, so we might try one of these as well. Um, and then we already have Nahida, so we don't need a... We'd be better to have a second Nahida. But we got to get new characters. we got to get new characters first. But Nahida will be one of the first ones. If I ever try and uh, get a bonus character, like level one up, he'll be Nahida probably. But now is not the time. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, let's do this because, because actually this is gonna be pretty useless because I have all of the standard characters now. I think I have, I don't have weapons. Uh, do I actually want weapons? I don't want weapons, but maybe I do. Because I have all of the five stars that you can get from this. But what if I clicked? I have. I have all of these guys. I have Dea, Kachin, Chi Chi Jean, Hidari, Mona Dilk. I have all of them. And I have all of the four stars. I checked that. So who knows? Who's gonna forget? Find out. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Anything? Anything useful? I didn't really check. I didn't see what color it was. I'm gonna assume it was purple. And then I'm gonna go get normal things. So we got. Ningguang. Oh! A bow! Never mind! <laughs> I guess I just wasn't paying enough attention. Okay, I think I already have that bow. Can I get double bow? You guys are gonna get mad at me if I use it to refine my existing bow. <laughs> Let me check that one. Let me check that one. Where's my bows? I do already have it! I gave it to Farazan. I mean, I'm gonna send it. Not that. Refine it, I mean. Yay! Why does Farazan have that bow? I genuinely don't know. She just does. Anyway, uh, let me see. Let me see. What was I gonna do? Oh, Ningguang as well. We can level up Ningguang. Where is she? She's all the way over here. No. Here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay, and now we try and get Hu Tao, because I would like Hu Tao. Um, but I don't know if I should just try and wish for her now, or if I should try and spread it out. I think we might as well just, just go for it. <laughs> we'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. I was gonna say we could spread it out, but I'm gonna get impatient, for starters. In which case, we should just do it now. And also, what if I have another busy period and I don't get the stream and then I miss it? I've already missed a bunch of it, apparently. So we gotta, we gotta lock it in early. Yeah, so there's only 12 days left anyway. I say, as if that isn't like a decent amount of time. <laughs> okay, so, so far, 20 has been unsuccessful. Ooh, Shinobu though. Shinobu's good. Do I have the max out Shinobu? I'm assuming I don't. But we'll find out, we'll find out. No, I don't. Okay. Shinobu. Always good. We love Shinobu. I say. No, we do love Shinobu. Okay. 
30 wishes, still still not, still not looking good. If we if we get a random five star that's like not, hmm, I don't know if we can afford to do, to definitely get Hu Tao. Oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, that was a book on Ideal. I think that might be one of the books I actually use, but is that book already maxed out? I don't know, I think this is Wish, is this Wish 50? 40 or 50, but we got Sing Chiu, which I think is the first, no, no, we got Shinobu. I was gonna say it was the first character, but no, we got, oh, we got two Sing Chills. okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's, let's try this again. I'm gonna run out of Primer Gems here. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, we might have to bring out the, another Sing Chiu. We might have to get the, um, the other, the, the other thing. These, we might have to use these to try and, uh, try and get, try and get Hu Tao. But it might work. Nope, okay. Okay. Clearly my luck is gone. But that's okay. We got a sword. Hmm. Oh no, I don't have enough. Okay, we're gonna have to. How many can I get? Hmm. Well, I have a lot of these though. So we're probably gonna be okay. Let me see. Let's do that. Let's try this. Not saving for Janssen. I may or may not have forgotten to do that, but um, it's okay. We'll see if we get Hu Tao now. And if we don't get Hu Tao, maybe we should assume that Hu Tao is- Oh, Dea! Hu Tao's not meant to be. They wanted me to get Dea instead. This is so sad. Hmm. I'm gonna try 20 more and we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Up to 20 more. We'll do it 10 at a time. And then. And then we give up. <laughs> because I should probably say, these are like my backup, backup wishes right here that we should probably not be spending on Hu Tao. Well, I probably won't even use Hu Tao, but. It feels so sad to like not get Hu Tao. So we'll try it, we'll try once more. Cause that didn't work. <laughs> I like that the more wishes I do and fail, the more like of those I get to let me get more. Nope. It's not happening. It's not happening. You know, if I get enough primer gems through the course of doing other things, we'll see. But it looks like Luck is not on my side today. Just tragic, tragic. Okay, okay, let me level up my random weapon. Did I get any more weapons? I think I did. Okay, well that one's leveled up already. Uh, then these, what is this book? Is that the Heater's book? Ooh, three out of five. Is that the Heater's book? Oh, it is. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well I nominate you to be the new one of these that we will enhance. Cause why not? We might as well have to. Might as well. Uh, and then let's see. Wait! Did I put it in the wrong place? Oh well. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, let me see. Who has the spear? It's okay. It's fine. 
I meant to click refine, but I clicked enhance, didn't I? <laughs> oh dear. Clearly. It's just not my day, is it? It's just not my day. Okay. What's this? Do I have this already? Yes, I do. What about this? Yes. What about this? No. Well, yes, but it's, it's not it's not finished. So we can we can ascend it. Not ascend, refine. That's how we got stuck in the first place. Now, what is this? Sacrificial sword. Who has that one? Sword. Sword. Ah, Chi Chi. Okay, we can give Chi Chi a better sword. Here we go. All is well. <laughs> ah, let's see. What are you guys saying? Ah, uh, she might be on stat. Oh. Wait, if she's on ooh. If she's on standard though. Ah oh, well, this is a future Keiko problem. I'm guessing it will take a little bit for her to shop anyway. So it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> um Oh Sapphire's Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Um yeah, wrong five star pyro. I might give in and get hooked out anyway, because I know I don't really care about Is it Chaska who's coming up next? So we could. We don't need to save up chest. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> she doesn't the day. <sighs> oh no. Oh, oh I see, I see. <sighs> <laughs> okay, uh now let me see. Let's oh let's level up. No? Oh yeah, we got a lot of sinctual constellations. So we can we can do that. One, two. Oh, he's almost done. Not quite though. Not quite. Oh no, nope, that's not what I meant to click. Mm, who's this? Sethos. How many constellations have I got here? Okay, two of those. And who else? Oh yes, Shinobu. We got one Shinobu. And Dea. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we might come back to that. We might not. We'll, we'll see. Uh, what's this going to give me? Great. <laughs> okay, now we should actually actually do the event. Event time! <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Uh, I was called Wind of Howl Sabs Roo Festival is now in full swing in Sumeru. And so you both happily set off, returning to the nation of nature and wisdom. Let's do that. We can do that. Let's go as Nahida. We can celebrate Nahida's birthday with Nahida. Uh, she's gonna roll next patch. Argus 5.3. Oh, but she's quite cool. However, it'll be fine. They'll give me loads of primer gems. And it'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, C2 is good. Okay, that's encouraging because, yeah, I don't really use Dea, but I have found out that my Dea is more useful than my Dilik when it comes to the theater. Because my Dillick is just rubbish. <laughs> Which is entirely my own fault. But I haven't figured out how to make it less rubbish. Ooh! <gasps> Nahida. We gotta... We gotta go. Nahida. Nahida. Now where are we going? We're we going down? I think we're going down. You know, we'll, we'll go down the proper way. Never mind, there's a lift. We'll just... Oh! I guess the lifts work when it's uh, your birthday for Nahida. <laughs> the lifts don't work for me, but they'll work for Nahida. Oh, I see some people. I see Dea. <laughs> oh. uh, hey, it's Ignari and Kalea over there. Oh, and Dea and Candice are with them. I suddenly remember, I don't remember if it's Dea or Dea. Is it Dea or Dea? I feel like I always get this one wrong. Oh well. Uh, let's go and say hi. Uh, everyone good with their assignment? Then let's get this show on the road. Oh, and again, please be careful. The last thing we want is for her to find out about our plan. Don't worry about that. Mercenaries can keep a secret like our lives depend on it. I'm not sure this scenario is quite that extreme. You know what I mean, Candace. It's just a figure of speech. 
Uh, I'm still kind of nervous. It's not that I'm scared or it's, it's slip. It's just, what if she suddenly throws up behind me without warning? Uh, hey there, what are you guys talking about? Ah, nothing, I swear. I don't know anything you don't know. I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> You're definitely hiding something. Just tell us the cat's already out of the bag. Calm down, Kale. At least check who it is before you freak out. Uh, Keiko, Paimon, fancy seeing you here. Great to see you all. Uh, oh, it's you two. Ah, you scared me half to death. Just like when I lose focus in class, it must have taken Aris and he shows up behind me, but even scarier. Are you here for the Sapsary Festival? Uh, yeah, festivals are always so fun. It seems like the perfect time to come back and hang out with all of our friends. This one is extra special. I heard from Marcel that the Academia is planning a grand birthday celebration for the Dendro Archon. Perhaps a small attempt to make amends for their past behavior. Yes, we came at the perfect time. A grand celebration calls for even more good food and fun than usual. But what were you gossiping about just now? Paimon heard something about a secret? Over here, you two. I'll explain everything in private. we are preparing a birthday surprise for the danger. Oh, God. What birthday surprise? It was day as I did, actually. Ah, well, it was just something that occurred to me while talking with Danizard. The Sabju Festival always seems to follow the same formula, so I figured a change of pace might be nice. Danizard liked the idea, and so did the others, so we got the ball rolling pretty quickly. If we want this to be a surprise, a few people who know, the better. We're dealing with the God of Wisdom here. A single slip of the tongue is enough to spoil the whole thing. That all makes sense, so um, do we have to keep talking like this until the festival ends? <laughs> so anyway, we've only asked a few of our friends to help out, since they happen to have some free time. So what exactly are you planning? Oh, well, we heard the Dendro Archon loves candies, he wants to take advantage of that. And we're also planning a birthday meal after the carriage parade, so we'll have a half uh, mua feast as well. We'll have most of the specifics to cover. Right now, all I need to do is purchase the food and decorations. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, put us to work. Now that we're in on the plan, we should do something to contribute. Uh, hey Candice, what, you looking for someone to help you with the shopping? Uh, yeah, I've been in the desert so long, I was worried I wouldn't be the best judge of the goods around here. We can help with that. As long as it's not too much trouble. I don't trouble at all. We're more than happy to help. No, hey, it seems like you're really learning your manners, Paimon. I'll happy to take you up on that offer then. Alright, it's settled. Take Nori, we'll book the venue. Danny's up and I will take care of decorations, and you three are on food. Ah, so exciting! This is gonna be the best birthday surprise he could ask for. Shh. Alright, Paimon has forgot. Gotta keep it a secret. <gasps> That's so wholesome! <gasps> we gotta make Nahida a birthday present <gasps> so cute <laughs> oh my gosh there's a rocking carriage interaction of reality and dreams shadows of the night's blade Okay, we're gonna play. I've seen there's a mini game. We will play those later. We will play those later for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, what have you done? You played this in bed without Nahida and didn't read their thoughts? <gasps> but they're gone. I can't read their thoughts anyway. Oh. Uh, how did I get here without a character dragging me into a quest? Were you not paying attention when I did every quest in every region I've stepped into? <laughs> there are no characters left to drag me into quests because I've done all the quests <laughs> except for Fontaine and Natlab. That those ones are still, still likely to trigger quests, but everything else is done. Uh, so she's English for his extra strike. Well, it makes no difference to me unless it's a cutscene, which will be quite sad. But other than that, no difference to me. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I see. I see. Well, I've done all the quests I can, so I should be good. I should be good. Anyway, what was I doing? <laughs> um, go shopping with Candace. That's what I was doing. Where, where is Candace? Candace. Oh, she's across the. She's across the water. How am I gonna get there? We're gonna jump. We got this. We got this. Nahida. If I jump into the water, are you going to make it across the river? Are you going to drown? Please don't drown. That would be a terrible way to spend your birthday. Are you ready? Okay, we got this. Nahida, go. Okay, okay. 
You hear that? Success. I hate that that was a thing that was not guaranteed. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, there's all kinds of scents in the air today. The sea breeze and almost isn't even enough to cover them up. This is the final stop of the carriage parade, so many of the vendors decided to set up their stalls in advance. The city is a lot more lively than usual. Same goes for Ari Village. Everyone's doing their part to make this a truly unforgettable Sabzeri festival. Ah, uh, well, with these vendors, there's no way we're going back empty-handed. Just leave the haggling to us. All right, then, let's... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh, no. Then it was, like, memory glitching. Oh, no. <laughs> Last time that happened, Nahida was kidnapped! Uh, what's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Are you sure? Don't you think you worry? Let's go to that store and place an order. I'm not sure we're fine. Uh, welcome. What can I get for you today? We'd like to place an order for the Sabzeri Festival. Could we have... Do you have the money to pick up after the parade? No problem at all. What'll it be? We'll take three orders each of the masala cheese balls, potato boats, and curry shrimp, and ten orders of pani puri. One sec, let me jot this down. Potato boats, pani puri. All right, we'll have that ready as scheduled. That's a fairly sizable order. Does that mean we can get a discount? Of course, let me see. That should come to 29,000 more, but you can have it for 26,000. How's that sound? What about 20,000? Huh? Wow, she really went for it. Oh, that's a bit tricky. We're going to be fairly busy that day, and we're setting aside all these ingredients for your order. What if I add five orders of samosas? Would that help lower the price? Well, in that case, the I can offer is 20% off. Great, we'll take it. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. Thank you for your order. Yeah, Candice is good. It turns out Candice is way better at haggling than us. Uh, oh, one more thing. Something you wanted to add to your order, miss? I just wanted to remind you to keep an eye on the fire you've got going there. If you let it burn too long, it could become a safety hazard. Oh, what's wrong with the fire? Oh, thanks for your concern. Then I placed the charcoal early today, so it should be... Bang. Huh? Extremely loud noise. Uh, whoa, there's so much smoke. Ugh. Are you alright? I'm fine, thanks. It's just that was so strange. Was it the wind generator? It's certainly possible. I had a similar problem not too long ago. I thought switching out to this one would fix the issue, but... I think we can get the true cause of the problem a bit later. What matters now is that you're right. Need any water? I've got some on me. I'm alright. Seems like you've got a good eye, miss. Just wish your warning came a little earlier. Probably could have avoided this scenario entirely. In any case, I'll definitely fix the stove today, so don't worry about any delays. Take your time. Your health and safety are more important. I'll just leave that deposit here. Sounds good. See you soon. That has to do with the glitching. But why? That was a close call. Good thing you're fasting your feet, Candace. How did you know something was wrong with the stove? Hm, I guess you'd call it a gut feeling. It's hard to describe. Well, where should we go next? Preferably somewhere without any fire. It has its I'm a little traumatized with what happened. Or... Let's go buy some fruit. We need to make the candy. Sounds good. It's been a while since we had the chance to shop at Port Ormus. Maybe we can pick up some other things along the way. Well, I'm suspicious. Oh! Uh, let's see. Let's <laughs> see. The water. <laughs> the water. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I <laughs> I hope you enjoy my absolute lack of accents. And the same voice I use for absolutely everyone. Um uh, also time for you to go. Fair enough, fair enough. Have a good have a good rest of the week and hopefully I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye. Okay, uh, now, oh, fruit, fruit, we're getting fruit with Candace. Let's see, the fruit stand should be that way. Okay, I'm wondering if there's a dream scenario. No, Candace is, Candace, Candace, are you okay? 
Does she see the future? Uh, watch out. Huh? Are you okay, little one? No, I'm fine. Thank you, miss. What happened? The crate came out of nowhere. Luckily, Candace saved the little girl before she got hit. Where are your parents, child? Uh, they're there at the tavern by the harbour, but I got bored, so we came out to play. You're safe now, little one. Just be careful next time. Get back to your parents now, child. Uh, okay. Whose crates are these? Uh, they're, they're mine. How many times have I told you not to leave heavy objects by the road? When are you going to learn? I'm sorry, it's just we ran out of storage for our latest shipment. And? Uh, nothing, I'll take care of it right away, I won't do it again. <sighs> Thank you everyone, I should have been keeping a close eye on everything. Lucky you were here, Miss Candace, I really don't know how things would have turned out otherwise. It was nothing, don't blame yourself. Uh, Sheriff, I understand just how terrible, how difficult it is to look out after a whole region. Still with the festival coming, we need your vigilance more than ever. Uh, always feels like I could use an extra pair of eyes during the Sabs roof season. I appreciate the reminder, Miss Candace. Anyway, you're probably in the middle of something, so I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the festival. That was some quick thinking, Candace. It's like you leapt into action before the crate even started to fall. Like you knew what was going to happen all along. <laughs> Actually, I, I did see something. I saw the crate fall before it happened. But you mean you saw the future? Yes, things that will happen with the stove, I saw what was about to happen. The Eye of Prophecy, it's actually real. I don't think it's raised to my amber eye. Growing up, it's never shown me any kind of strange phenomena. But ever since this morning, I've been seeing these things that don't match with reality, and after a few seconds, they actually come to pass. Have you told anyone else about this? Not yet, I still haven't determined if it's the true power of prophecy, and I don't want to make everyone worry. But why did it come on so suddenly? Did something happen this morning? Nothing out of the ordinary, really. I prayed to the gods, made my plan for the day, then went to meet with my friends. Although if I had to think of something, I did buy this gem along the way. Okay, it's not currently glowing, and usually that's a sign of something sus. But it's probably the gem. Uh, whoa, it's beautiful. There's something about it. So you sense it too. This gem seems to contain traces of unusual elemental energy. I only bought it because it piqued my interest. Could the gem be the source of the visions? It's certainly possible. Here, try it for yourself. Maybe you'll see something as well. I don't think anything happened. Hmm, so it doesn't work for just anyone? Perhaps it's some kind of trigger condition, or could it be because of my connection to Lord Alamar? Maybe we could ask the others. Everyone's been so busy preparing for the festival, I really don't want to trouble them with something so trivial. Luckily, I don't have too many responsibilities over the next days, so I can investigate on my own. It's part of my duty as a guardian. We can help too. Even better, having your company is like sitting around a bonfire with a trusted companion. Your presence puts people at ease. Alright, let's finish our shopping first, then we can investigate the gem. At the very least, we should ask around the merchant circles for information on its origins. Being in merchants, Paimon can think of someone who's always in the know, although getting information out of her is definitely going to cost us. Ah, do you mean Dory? I've heard people talk about her in Aru Village before. Yep, that's the one, but I'll just be touchy when it comes to more, so it's best not to haggle too much. You purchased the fruits on the shopping list. The vendors tell you where to find Dory. Ooh, I like that we are actually next to the fresh produce vendor. The meat meters are pretty high quality, I should plug them harder. I wonder if she's saying anything different. The fruits and veggies, great quantity and quality. Okay, now I think that's a normal line. I mean, if you have any large orders. Well, we just had a large order, I presume. Now, where's Dory? Oh, she's back over there. Okay. okay. We're gonna have to make the leap once more over the water and hope, hope for the best. Okay. Nita, are you ready? Actually, no, we should go this way a little bit. We want to aim for somewhere where I can 
Ooh, maybe we can... We want to aim for somewhere with a wall, not a an open fence, because we can't climb up that. But that's okay, we just jumped straight over. How easy was that? Suspiciously easy. That's how easy. Okay. Uh, here are the goods you asked for, as promised. All the best quality, I assure you. Can you just give me any of my newest offerings before you go? Uh, no? Well, see you around then. Dory! Oh, if it isn't two of my most valued customers and Miss Candace. Now this is getting interesting. What brings the guardian of our village to my neck of the woods? All well, my business in the desert is strictly above board, I assure you. You misunderstand, Miss Dory. We're just here for some information. Oh, you're in the market for some intel? Well, you've come to the right place. I love dealing in information. It's easy to carry and even easier to hike up the price. Though, um, which is always very reasonable, of course. <laughs> I bought a rather peculiar gem this morning and I have the name of the merchant who sold it to me. I wanted to ask the merchant about the craftsman who cut this gem and where they got their ore. Ah, so you need to track them down. Not an easy job, it'll come at a hefty price. Well, we don't necessarily have to track them down the specific person. If you have a way of obtaining the information I seek, Miss Dory, I would be happy to compensate you for those services as well. I can find the person no problem, but it's not as lucrative. I have a few connections who work with gemstones, so I'm better off charging them for the information directly. Oh, now you're just asking the impossible. These kinds of things tend to be trade secrets. It won't be easy to get that information, even for the Great Lord Sangma Bay. Just name your price. If you insist, now let me see. There's a the cost of travel, the gifts I have to buy. I'm making around 200,000 mora. Is she making like a 200? <laughs> uh, yikes, that's steep. That exceeds our budget, I'm afraid. Can you go any lower? Well, our village has done me a few favors in the past, so I think we can strike a deal. Why don't you make me an offer? How about 50,000 mora? Excuse me? That's even more aggressive than back of the market. Nothing wrong, that's usually the going rate for this kind of intel in the desert. Impossible, I wouldn't even be able to put food on the table at that rate. Can't do it, nope. Ah, what a shame. How about 30,000 more then? That, that's even lower! 30,000 more plus food shelter and a security detail whenever you're in our village. I'll throw in a few tax exemptions as well. How does that sound? I... Our village certainly has some promising business opportunities. Securing the protection of the local garden isn't actually a bad trade. Not that you want only one profiting from this deal, though. I bet she only made that offer so our village could benefit from more business activity. Dude, what a scary woman. Um, all right, after some reflection, I've decided to forgo all profit for the venture. 30,000 it is. Ah, now I know why people call you the number one merchant in Sumeru. Your generosity is truly unmatched. Uh, of course, you're an esteemed client, Miss Candace. I stand more to gain from your friendship than anything else, so who cares about the Mora? If that's the case, then... And by that, I mean we landed at the perfect price. 30,000 as agreed. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to treat my gem contract to a 500 more food stall instead. I already have to go out of my way to get this intel, so I'll need some time. Why don't you come by tomorrow? Of course, thank you, Miss Dory. You've been a huge help. Keiko, okay, okay, you've only just made it back to Sumeru. Why don't you take some time for yourself? I'll handle the rest of the orders. Really? Paimon feels kind of bad, though. We didn't turn out to be much help. Don't say that. I dragged you into my own personal investigation. I should be the one apologizing. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, but as always, may the gods protect you, Keiko. And you, Miss Dory. Safe travels. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yep, take care. Did we not, like, give her the gem? Did we not have to do that? I feel like we needed to do that. Wait till the following morning. You know what that means? Time to play some mini games. Hello. Uh, excuse me, are you Keiko by any chance? That's me. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, good. Good thing I didn't get the wrong person. Now I need to introduce myself. I am Demakirti, a uh, duster from a murder. 
You've heard of your course, but in truth we don't know much about you. We've been doing research on dreamscapes lately and the Dendro Argon informed us that you were the most cool-headed person she's ever seen when distinguishing dreams from reality. Ah, she flatters me. Uh, nay, don't be so modest. Anyway, that's precisely what our project is about. And our data indicates that people struggle to consciously wake up after falling asleep. We intend to utilize the psychological influence that dreams have on people to help regulate various psychological disorders. Specifically, we will use targeted environmental hints and guidance based on each patient's individual situation to create a suitable dreamscape for them. Technology to enter shared dreamscapes is still rather new, and advancements are mainly thanks to the many improvements made by the Dendro Archon. Simply put, our goal is to address patients' psychological problems by adjusting their cognitive states within dreamscapes. That seems complicated. Alright, sorry, couldn't help rambling about our project, but it's quite complicated, yes. Simply put, we're conducting medical research on the psychological effects of dreams, but we've got a bit stuck when it comes to practical implementation. As you need my help, how we can make the payment. Do you need my help? You got it in one go? This is embarrassing. None of our project members have any experience maintaining awareness within a dreamscape, so that left us all feeling rather depressed. But now that we know people like you exist, hope has been rekindled. We also have our Archon to thank for this. Had you not heard our report and suggested we discuss things with you, I'm afraid our project would have had to be abandoned, never to be completed. I have faith if this psychotherapy is popularized, then we'll be able to significantly reduce the rate of mental disorders in the academia's annual statistics. So from what you said just now, I can assume you're willing to help? Sure thing. Great, I'll organize the patient files right away. Come find me whenever you're free. This experimental process works like this. You just need to relax into the dreamscapes together with the patient. That's half the battle. Next, when you're inside the dreamscape, you just need to follow the instructions given in this file to find the anomalous aspects related to the patient in question. Correct them, leave the dream, and that's that. We've also prepared emergency measures to get you out of the dreamscape if needed. The safety of our volunteers and patients is far more important than the success of any experiment. Every patient has unique circumstances and must be handled carefully. Well then, come find me whenever you're free. Understood. Thanks for your generosity. See you later. Okay. Enter dreamscape. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks for your assistance. This clinical trial is very important, so let me know once you're ready. I'm not quite ready. No worries, only start once you're good to go. With you and the patient have woken up the dream, we will continue to follow up with the patient over the long term. If therapy produces good results, we should be able to check long lasting positive effects. I got a bit tragic. There's a whole group of people here that I wanted to talk to. Um, please let this clinical trial go smoothly. I've already done all I could do get to help. Oh, wait. I've already done all I could to get help. Please, please, let's go well. I want to talk to these guys. Hello. They must be arranged as a mortar. That's just one of my principles of design. All inhuman asymmetrical architectural design has to be destroyed, destroyed with prejudice. Possessive compulsive disorder is incurable in its late stages. Oh, maybe these are the patients. Uh, I've never been this frightened of doing guard work in my life. It's not like I want to tremble like this, but my legs just won't listen. Please, Lord Geo, save me, please. A trained martial artist like me, afraid of ghosts. Oh, for shame. They're up, not gonna happen. Drinking too much may hurt my liver, but drinking too little wins my heart. It's a toughie, but not drinking just ain't an option. I'm gonna drink myself to death something like this. Ah, oh, forget it. If I die, I die. I'll drink to that. Must see whatever it takes to finish Tales of 100 Yokai. I promise my readers I would own, I would on my dignity as a yokai novel writer, no less. But I've told tales about Tengu and I've talked about Bakitsunuke. How the heck will I get 100 different types, yokai, what I need, and fresh ones, new ones? I can't finish writing this. There's no way I can, no matter what I do, might as well just take two years off. And then what does this guy have to say? Hello? Oh, I forgot. Where's my other mouse? Okay. This lab's so messy. If I only hired my assistant to help me. Oh, it's not like I'm getting any younger. Should I just retire back to Sumeru in two years or something? I mean, I can't stay here, can I? You're, you're in Sumeru. And we will these days who careless with the experiments. Come now, it's maintaining a clean lab. That's hard. Something, something. The most basic of basics really so hard. I see. Well, let's give it a go. We can we can do this game. I'm not sure how many levels we should do before we um go back to the main quest. Maybe we'll do one each gap. Anyway, let's see. Oh, Collingwood struggles to stop drinking liquor is often troubled by strange dreams. In which many common items are upside down, find upside down items and write them and perhaps he'll improve. 
Seven. Ooh. Okay. Okay. In we go. We gotta go fix the broken things. I don't know how it's gonna work. There are so many buttons. Well, okay, let's talk to the guy. Hello. Hey there, are you the one who's assisting me with the dreamscape therapy? To be honest, I don't know how my what my dreams are going to be about. I'm from Monster, I don't really have any hobbies, you know, except drinking. I'm starting to mess up something when I get sloshed, so I'm counting on you. Okay, the more I look at sound, the stranger it seems. Ugh, it seems like some things are just different from normal, like they're crooked. We've gotta find six things that are the wrong way round. Like this chair? How do you... Ah, you just click it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's the wrong way round. Oh, well, there's another chair. Ah, so she's in the eyes, but there's still a few things are upside down. Yep, that's uncomfortable. <gasps> another chair. Another moose. Moose? Dear? Oh, I like that. I can still sit down. But we're not sitting because we're looking for upside down things like that. Dear! I see it! I found it. Success. <laughs> That's more like it. Sure was a mess, but at least better now. Ah, uh, would Angel Share be without me? Okay. Let's see what this is. Uh. Uh, Yu Guang, a guard of high, often feels that there are monsters lurking in the objects around. I cannot rest easy. Find the strange floating objects and perhaps with conscious anxiety and fear will be put to rest. Oh, demons, great divine beings, and honored adepti, please show us with your mercy. Do not hide in objects floating to, to and fro. Please show yourselves before I die of fright. I guess we're. You know who would be really good at this? Hu Tao. <laughs> you know who we didn't get? Hu Tao. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. We're about to enter a dreamscape together, I believe. I'm Yu Guang, a guard from the year. I touched something unclean while at work recently and I haven't had a good night's sleep since. That's why I still help. If I can dispel my nightmares through this dreamscape therapy, that would truly be amazing. Oh, demons, great divine beings, on a dead eye, please shower us with your mercy. Do not hide on our Please show yourselves if I die of fright. Does she say the same thing twice? Yep, she does. Okay. Ooh, I see. I, I see you. I see you. Oh, and there's a ghost. There's a ghost. <laughs> okay, I guess I am literally looking for ghosts. Oh, I found one. There's one over here. I love that I can actually see a teleport waypoint, but it's like a fake teleport waypoint. It's like, I can't, I can't use it. I'm inside a bubble. Okay, so I'm looking for some more floating things. I found three out of eight ghosts. <gasps> Crates! Hmm? Oh, too quick. The number of demons hiding has plummeted. However, I can still feel a sense of presence. There must be still a few hiding somewhere that have yet to show themselves. Actually, yeah, because I've covered the whole place now. Where are they hiding? There are no more floating things that I can see. Demon's great, divine being, on a time, please show us. Oh no, yep, yeah, we've already read that. I think we took too long. She started going to give us hints. I don't see any more. To the back? No. Oh, crate. I was too far away. <gasps> Lion! Two more. You go up here. I don't think so, but it might help me see. Oh, 
it really thought I wasn't going to find it. Which is fair, because I didn't find it in a very long time. There should be one more somewhere? One more floating thing. Floating things. You can open these floating things, surely something, something, something. But I don't see anything else floating. Oh. This way. Oh. <gasps> There's one here! I missed it. <laughs> this is your blessing from some illuminated being. Thank you for having mercy on my lowly guards such as myself. I'll leave you for my next job down. Okay. Uh, oh, in a pressure call, you're going to go to bed. Fair enough, fair enough. Good night. Have a good sleep. Have a good rest of the week. And hopefully I will see you on Sunday. Okay. Uh, where are all our Nazim and Yogi hiding? Come out, show your faces. Light novel author Higuchi Tetsuya is looking for inspiration and hopes to meet Yokai face to face and get a good look at them. Finally, Yokai wearing a usual mask may be enough to satisfy his subconscious desire. It's me, Higuchi Tetsuya is the name, a yokai novel writer from Inazuma. I've been under a lot of pressure lately, so tr I'll try anything, do whatever it takes go to get back on my feet. By the way, my dreamscape might have a rather personalised look, considering what it's, that it's the world I'm making, with all the issues that entails, and apologise in advance for any strange things you might see. Ooh. Where will Inazuma and yokai hiding come out show your faces? Wait, was that? Did that count? Oh! There were two here? Is that the... Okay, I only saw one. At least I know I'm looking for people? Well, that's an actual person. I see... A kid over here. Oh, there's somebody in the bushes! I see you. Ah, the yoga hiding in the corners have come out, but it's really all of them. Feel that there must be still a few in hiding. I see you. Oh, this old lady. I see you too. Other side of the shrine. Okay, okay. Found them. I've got it now. Give me a pen. It's time to write. Okay, uh, settle stays not safe. Why, never. Each time a piece of lab equipment is more disobedient than the last hair. I don't care how much energy you have. Stop messing around and behave yourselves. The news of the researcher and attached his lab equipment tends to move around its own, disrupting all his plans. Finding those mischievous of his instruments may quiet the troubles in his mind. A qualified volunteer for the dreams scary experiment is one so young. My, aren't young people impressive nowadays? Call me Nitesh. I'm a travelling apartment scholar presently working long term in Fontaine. We older folks tend to come by all manner of problems more easily. I'm counting you to help me get to the heart of things youngster. Oh. 
My enamel, each piece of lava equipment is more dissipated than the last. I just don't care how much energy you have, so let's get around and behave ourselves. Okay. Well, there's a chair. It's in the wrong place. This chair is floating. <gasps> Candlestick! Get back down! Get back down! <gasps> Another candlestick! I saw you. Yes, yes, there's Farnita, but there are a few pieces of unruly equipment. Whether or not, we must sort them all. Nope, oh, that's normal lab equipment. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Floating chair! I see you, I see you. <gasps> Floating books! I like standing on floating books. <gasps> floating books! Oh, I like it. They like pretend. They lie down as if they're not floating. But I saw you floating. <gasps> and I see the candlestick. Success. Ah, it's finally speaking sad. And everything is in place. All nice and tidy. I feel good just looking at it. Okay. I can't take it anymore. Why don't you follow the design? Street lamps, floor lamps, chairs, nothing here even spares the slightest inkling of thought for symmetry. The architect, uh, Piusha's extremely exacting requirements for symmetrical aesthetics have grown to a deep source of anxiety, heavily influencing his subconscious. Find the objects in the dreamscape that don't match the principles of symmetry and help ease, help ease his anxiety. I feel the dude. If it's unsymmetrical, when it could be symmetrical, when it's supposed to be symmetrical, it's very sad. Hello. You're the, uh, you're the fine friend that Damakurti's introduced. Piyush, pleased to meet you. I work in architecture. I've heard Kava mention your name before, but I haven't had the chance to say hello yet, so this is a happy coincidence. I'm guessing I'll dream about a project I just submitted. It was an absolute nightmare. It's a shame we have to meet for in such a formal fashion. Oh well. Everything else you arrange is in order, that's just one of my principles of design. All in human architectural... Asymmetrical architectural designs must be destroyed. Destroyed with prejudice. Well, this looks unsymmetrical. <laughs> uh, oh, Joe's here. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We are doing the Sam's Roof first of all because I was busy and now if it's ending soon. So we gotta do as much as possible before it ends. <laughs> and now I'm looking for unsymmetrical objects. Like here, two benches. Excellent, the whole space looks far more harmonious now. A few more adjustments and it'll finally be perfect. Any <gasps> double bench. I like how the unsymmetricalness is just, there's always two, like two benches, two lamps. If I see two, it's an error. Or like an intentional error. But an error. Oh, okay. I wouldn't put it to go that high. Uh, are there any more? Hmm. Is there any more? Why didn't they design? For the famous greenhouses, hopes, and even the greenhouse interiors do not comply to symmetry? It won't let me go up there. The wrong way, but I already. Hmm. I already ran everywhere. Did I miss one? I must have. I'm missing. I'm missing three. How am I gonna find three more unsymmetrical things? Oh. Wait. What's unsymmetrical about that? Wait, the lamp just is unsymmetrical. On its own? Ooh. Ooh. I didn't think about that. Okay. Are there any more lamps? Lamps? Flower pots? Another place with central symmetry got that. Oh, another one! <laughs> it's gonna be a third lamp, but where's the third lamp? 
Let's see a lamp. Oh, okay, it wasn't even made up with Candice. Made up to Candice, hopefully Dory got the intel she wanted. Let's head over and check. Well, I will, once we've uh, found the final lamp. <laughs> you know what that means? I basically spent exactly one, one Genshin day doing... I missed doing this, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Yes, yes, this represents the symmetry of divinity and harmony. Such wondrous symmetry. The construction is most perfect. I can finally rest easy. And now we can claim all the rewards. Claim, claim, claim. Claim, claim. All claimed. Good. All good. Okay. And we can leave. Ah, uh, let's see. No, no! How do you catch two colds? I was only gone for like two weeks. That's, that's quite impressive in like a in a bad way. <laughs> oh, it's been a while, but it hasn't been that long. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Can I see if it's changed? Oh, okay. I was hoping it would um switch because I helped them all, but no, no it didn't. Anyway. One mini game down. Uh, is this a normal spice merchant? Hello! If you've heard the legend of the dance of Sabzeru, would you like to feel the breath of the goddess of flowers? Even the goddess of flowers can bring only the fragrance of Hadazara, the impractically blind. Spice of Sumeru are hardly said one note. Flash complex and mysterious scents can only be felt here. Doing business is good to leave some haggling room to beat by selling at a higher price. Okay. Anything different to say? I've had candy, seen the flowers. Next. Next. What's next on your list? I wonder if there's any weapons myths around here. I want to buy a sword, the bigger the better. Huh? But that's dangerous, and could you even lift it? If I can't, you're here to help, right? The two of us should be able to carry it back to Ari Village. Then I have something I want to buy, and you have to help me carry it. Aiden. Hmm? Say no more. I already know exactly what you want. Don't worry, pick you out a shield. Every bit is awesome looking as Candace's. I want to buy a sword, just like Dea. I get shield just like Candace. Well, that's wholesome. They have role models. How cute. Hello. I make a wish, let's look as gnarly for some more valuable books at my collection. I lost the batch of literary treasures, my life's been awful. Every book that's even slightly valuable gets reserved by the academia first. They even take out all, all the worthless ones. What's that you say? I should just be a job at the house of Dana. Actually, don't tell me, and I'd be thinking over. Do they hire foreigners there? If you want to buy me out, you should offer at least twice as much as that. Okay. It's Dory's fault. It's usually Dory's fault. Anything is Dory's fault. <laughs> okay. Candace! Candace, you're here. Have you seen Dory? Just left. I got here early and she had already started doing business, so we wrapped things up right away. She left the city as soon as I handed her the travel permit and tax waiver, I promised. Oh, she sure didn't waste any time. But how'd it go? Did she tell you where the gem came from? Yes, according to the local gem merchants, the ore was retrieved from a nameless ruin in the desert several months ago. The ruin is in very poor condition, even the writing on the walls is nearly impossible to read. Let me mention something even more concerning though. Apparently the cross made another gem just like this one. So there's two? Yes, you ought to crack down the middle. The cross believed it would be impossible to reverse. They turned it into two gems instead. So where's the other gem now? Exactly what I'd like to know. If the gem truly provides a power of foresight, the consequences could be detrimental in the wrong hands. Funny enough, I heard a caravan was robbed just this morning in a remote part of the desert. You think it's related to the other gem? I can't say for sure, but I do know this. Only small scale caravans or ones carrying important goods travel on a remote path of that, and their routes are highly confidential. So what we're saying is whoever took the caravan was able to predict its exact location. It's certainly possible. I'd like me to investigate the site of the robbery. But what about the preparations for the Sabzeru Festival? Mia said we could meet up with everyone later. If we hurry, we should be able to get back in time. Of course, if you have other plans, please don't feel obliged. Please don't feel obliged to come with me. Uh, hey, we're in this together. There's no way we're backing out now. Let's head out. I should have known you would say that. Thank you for all your help. Ooh. The second gift. Okay, what was the first gift? No idea. Well, let's, let's go to the scene of the crime. I get what they mean. It's not next to any parts. It's a remote path. We gotta, we gotta investigate. Okay. I got this. 
Where are we going? This way. This way. Like round the back somewhere. Hmm. Oh. Let's go this way. <gasps> We're gonna avoid those guys by going this way. And then this way. <gasps> These are the soft beasts. This way. Maybe the robbery shape play is not too far from here. And um, while we really are in the middle of nowhere. Here go Paimon over here. <gasps> There's a fire. Oh wait, no, that's supposed to be there. <laughs> that's a fire plant. Do you sense that? I sense a trace amount of elemental energy. Exactly. Many among the desert tribes are capable of wielding elemental energy. The same is true for the air mines. They means the power to attack caravans and earn some quick mora. Get yeah, those broken planks over there. Yes, was that the transport wagon? I would imagine. Strange, the wood looks charged. Was there an explosion? Is there some activity over there? Let's follow the road to see what we can find. Oh, Candace, 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 wait for me! Ah, oh, no thoughts. Candace! Oh, we're going, we're going. Candace! Where are we going? Where are we going? I like that she stopped to investigate the thing. Now uh, the traces are pointing this way. This way! How did you know? Is it elemental energy? Nope. Okay. She just knows. She just knows. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day.